Hello, Podicumans, and welcome to the Podicesis Podcast, a podcast about what Christians believe and why it matters. Once again, I'm Brett Maddox, and we are joined by your very best friends, Alan Kaysen and Jim Morrow, and Jim Morrow's very best friend, his wife, <laughs> Amanda Morrow. How hey, are Amanda. you guys doing? Hi. I brought a friend, my <laughs> very best friend. That's it. This is a, a, a bring a friend to your uh, podcast uh, day. <laughs> that apparently we didn't get the memo. And we did not get a memo. Yeah, on. No, anyway. see, see, we, we're married. We're, we're, we're like one. So just, I'm okay, sorry you guys one, aren't, but. <laughs> I just have one quick question. Yeah. Yes. Um, where, where are the kids? What kids? We have teenagers oh. who can watch the younger ones. So oh, they're living yeah. their best life. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! Yes, Merry Christmas! What How in the it? world? Yes, here we are. It is here. It, upon it is here. Us. It is here. We are no longer. I guess by the time this episode, this mini episode, uh, releases, we are no longer in waiting. We are actually in celebrating yeah, Christmas. Oh, that, that rhymes. Hey, you know, I'm a poet, and I even know it. So so we just wanted to stop in real quick and do a special, uh, brief Merry Christmas episode. Yes. Probably just a few minutes just to bless you all. Yes. Um, to, to take a few minutes to meditate on uh, what it means to, why Christmas matters. Oh, yeah? But then also just say, hey, thank you all, all year long, for listening to, because I know every one of you have listened to us for all year. All year. Um, yes. But we're all just year. thankful for you, and we want to celebrate Christmas with you. So yes. we thought we'd come on for just a few minutes. I brought a friend because we were hanging out. If you're on YouTube, you can see my my wife hanging out, and she's waving and super comfortable uh, <laughs> being on air with us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super uncomfortable being on air with us. But I am not. super comfortable with my Christmas tree on top of my head. So I'm you good. You should leave it there. You I'm so totally good. leaving it here. And that, this, is yeah. not even, um, this is not even like artificial. This is real. That's a real like, Christmas. I mean, oh. It's not a real Christmas tree, but like the computer. Anyway, oh. so let's, let's can you go. tell me? Can you tell me more? Can you tell me more about what's real and what's not real, Alan? This Thank is going you. really well. I was well. trying to come up with the word filter, and Amanda, who is a guest of the show uh, today, has helped me out. Thank you. See, that is a filter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so um, I wanted to tell y'all this funny thing. So a couple of episodes ago, y'all were giving me a hard time because I haven't watched the Disney Plus show Andor yet. Yeah, yes. that's horrible. Did you, did you binge I, it? I haven't. I still haven't. Watched. Oh, well, then why are we even talking? Well, yeah. so one of our faithful listeners, Mr. Colin Martin. Mr. Colin, hey, Colin. Martin. Who's a, Colin. Hey, Colin. Hey, Colin. Hey, Colin. Um, he, he sent me this text a few weeks ago. He said this. He said, uh, if you don't watch the Star Wars series on Disney+, Plus, talking about Andor, um, we can't be friends. Now, this is a guy who I was really close to when I was in Columbus. He said, we Ooh. cannot be friends. Wow. I mean, that's pretty uh, solid. Yeah. And he says, you can tell Alan and Jim <clears throat> that I will take your place because he is fluent in Jedi. He wants to come on. Oh, nice. He wants to take my place on this show. Yeah. It, 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 I mean, he's coming at me. And you, know, you know, Brett, I wonder about the wisdom of actually bringing that to our attention, because um, we didn't know that. Yeah. And it actually might not be a bad I mean, idea. <laughs> well, I'm thinking a duel. I'm thinking to have, let's have a, let's have like a, a duel. Oh, <laughs> like a, a showdown, like a duel of the yeah. fates. Or yes. duel of the fates. That's what I was about Duel of the say. fates. That's what yes. I was thinking. Um, like, yeah. How comfortable uh, are you right now, Amanda? I'm concerned. <clears throat> She's concerned. Yeah. yeah like, I thought this podcast was about Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, only about 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 20% of it usually yeah. is. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. Uh, well, Colin, Colin, you could you could come and be a part of our show anytime, and and so you you just work it out with Brett, and we'd love to have you on and talk to you. And, oh. and we don't have to kick off Brett just to have you on. Thank you. So, that's I mean, right. That's right. I, I appreciate grace it. and you. redemption yeah. and all that other yes. stuff. Yes. So it's Christmas time, and um, I thought something that would be fun is if we each shared a uh, favorite Bible verse mm. about Christmas. Uh, maybe a Bible passage about Christmas. Any any but, Bible verse? But but I want to give us a little bit of a challenge. Uh oh. And dun, dun. Uh, I don't want us to go to the Gospels. That's too easy. You got Luke two. You got Matthew one and two. Um, even John one. I don't. You know. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. What What would be a favorite verse or passage of yours mm. that about the about Christmas, about the birth of Jesus, but that's not in the Gospels? Mm. Ooh. What a challenge. Yes. Uh, you mean go first? Yeah, go ahead. I do. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. So this doesn't really it's it's um it's interpretive, right? So yeah, this I mean, I mean I, yeah. I just lost my place. Okay, Philippians two, uh, one of my favorite passages of scripture, um, five through eleven, having the mindset of Christ. So in your relationship, Paul writes, in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness. Mm -hmm. Being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. Mm -hmm. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God, the Father. Mm-hmm. And so obviously uh, Christmas is really about the incarnation and God yes. becoming, taking on flesh. Um, and so um, just as um, God took on flesh uh, and humbled himself, um, we are to humble ourselves. So. You could even say he condescended. Oh, but don't be condescending. Don't be condescending. That's true. That's true. What you got, Jim? Well, I was thinking about um, Hebrews. There's a, Chapter 2 is just a beautiful meditation on the Incarnation, and so let me read it to you in, in its entirety in Greek. I'm kidding. No, just <laughs> verses 14 through 15. It's, it's tough Greek, too. too. Yeah, two, yeah, yeah, it is, though. Hebrews 2, 14 through 15. <clears throat> Amanda, do you want to read for us? Okay. Since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humanity, so that by his death he might break the power of him who holds the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by their fear of death. Yes, and it's just like Alan said. It's about incarnation. And why? Why? Because God had an overall purpose and desire, which is to free humankind and remove our incorruptibility and our um, our danger of death. And so he shared in our humanity in flesh and blood in order that he might break the power of him who holds the power of death. And can, I just, can I just say, uh, you know, Alan is our reader, pretty much. He's our, he's our audible, but um, I, think, I think Amanda needs to be now. Uh, you know, it's just like it's just it's just like that. You know, it comes out of nowhere and bam, takes my place. <laughs> well, right, Alan, don't worry about it. Hey, it's Christmas. Let's go. I'm gonna be happy. Alan, right. while you're on while you're on your sabbatical, recording the audible version of the TFOD document, Amanda will step in and take your place here. <laughs> the, the I sabbatical. Read. I can read. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Amanda can read. Hey, Brett, what's yours? All right, mine is uh, this will come out. Of, this is coming out of Titus, uh, chapter Ooh. three, and I'm starting at verse uh, verse four. Um, it says, "But when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, He saved us not because of right of the righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and the renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom He poured out." on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs having hope, having the hope of eternal life. And I love that he appeared. Um, uh, Galatia, Paul will say in Galatians, um, at the right time, God sent his son, right? Like, that is a, uh, to me, if you're, and, and it is interpretive. Alan, you're right. This is interpretive of the gospel event. This is uh, absolutely, and so um, we're, we're seeing kind of a, an overarching interpretation of what the incarnation was meant for uh, to save us from our sins. And I, I think back to that Matthew passage of the names of Jesus. You know, G, you'll name him Jesus because he will save his people from his sins. You'll call him Emmanuel because he is God with us. It is the nature of God, who God is, and what God, what Jesus does. Who Jesus is, what Jesus does, and um, that, that's that's exactly right. He saves us from our sins, and He's God with us. Mm, that's awesome. Yeah, some good stuff there. Hey, what are y'all doing this holiday season? Like, what's some traditions y'all do? Do y'all have any fun traditions? Like my yeah, our traditions. So, uh... Okay. Our traditions is like looking at Christmas lights. Like we're big about looking at Christmas lights, going traveling through mm-hmm. the area, the region, looking at Christmas lights. Love it. That's kind of our favorite. Yeah. Thing, so right? after our Christmas Eve service, uh, we go we go to two places. We go to the Guido Gardens here in Metter, and awesome. they have um, 
uh, if you don't know anything about Guido Gardens, just look up um, Guido Gardens on, on the internet. And uh, anyways, they have tons of Christmas lights, um, and we'll go do that. And we go to Waffle House uh, for breakfast. Let's start doing that. Yeah, so it's fun. Um, and we're not the only people that go to Waffle House for breakfast on Christmas Eve. So yeah. Um, anyways, that's what we're doing on Christmas Eve. Oh, also on Christmas Eve, we open up a Christmas Eve box. Anybody else do that? And it has Christmas Christmas PJs. Oh. It has yeah. snacks. It has popcorn, and we'll watch a Christmas movie. Um, so any particular one? Uh, no. Uh, we, we try to get a new one. Uh, like you know, um, like I'm checking out some of these newer ones that have just come out in the last year uh, mm-hmm. to see which one we're going to watch Saturday. So. Can I give a plug for the new uh, Christmas Carol? I think it's uh, new this year. I don't know. It might it might have been last year, but the uh it's on disney um it's uh, uh, no. uh not spirited uh no, that's the, on it's the... just it's just a retelling of the christmas it's a it's animated oh. it's computer okay. animated it's beautiful like it's uh it's very very beautiful and very faithful to the to the uh, dickens uh, classic oh wow, that's cool yeah yeah very much so what are our traditions we have a lot of random ones. I feel like everything is different this year. Like we're not really doing a lot of our traditions. <clears throat> um, like we're leaving on Christmas Day, oh, which yeah. isn't quite we, normal. We've got a for different us. travel schedule because yeah, gonna, sometimes that happens. Christmas is on a Sunday this year, so we're gonna have service here, and then we're gonna go to family's house in an undisclosed location. And I won't tell you if all of our family has gone or not so that our house is secure. <laughs> but we are, like, Santa's not even visiting the house. Like, Santa's mm. coming to our house to fill stockings, but that's it. So that's we're it. going, yeah. all of the gifts are going to be in our indisclosed location. And um, we'll see. It's going to be different. But I just don't understand. I mean, I, I don't know how you're going to leave Nora May all by herself. It's going to be, I mean, she's going to be the one holding down the fort. The well, house. look, somebody's got, somebody's got to keep the house uh, under guard. Yeah, yeah. Well, and absolutely. if anybody can. It's, she's yeah. the most responsible yeah. seven-year-old I've right, ever met. Yeah. 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 Right yeah. there. Right, right there. there. Right there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, well, listen, to the Casins and to the Maddox clan, Merry, Merry Christmas. Yeah. To all of our Potakesis friends and hold neighbors. Hold on, hold on. Brett didn't share any he of did. his traditions. Did he, he shared the Christmas. You that was a that was a solid outro, babe. I know. And it's gone now. He shared about the Christmas. Well, that's what that's what happens when you invite guests on here. Okay, that's, that's right. what happens. <laughs> that's right. Well, let me say this, and then we'll go back. Well, so Christmas lights, that's what we do. We don't, uh, and we watch Christmas movies, So, uh, but we watch the same one. So it's A Wonderful Life and A Christmas Story. It's just on repeat throughout the house, um, uh, just more as tradition. I love It's A Wonderful Life. It's one of my favorites, and A Christmas Story as well. And then um, every now and then, just to kind of break it up, since those are on for 24 hours, uh, Christmas Vacation will be in there too. So, yeah, so, so uh, you'll notice that all of those movies – were produced and released 1980s. before 1990. Yeah. <laughs> what? Um, do any of y'all have an elf? No. No. We, we, no, no. No. We don't do don't the elf. Do no. We don't, don't do the elf. Do not do that. We watch elf. We watch <laughs> no. elf. We, That's about it. There's this other thing called an advent calendar. Much better. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Advent I mean, calendars. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. I mean, like, we do that. So, and and you can, that one can stay right where it is. Like you don't have to move it or anything. <laughs> uh, one last thing before Jim takes us out again. So Jim, get your thought back to you. Can't get what your it. thought back to you here. Um, so Pete, Pete Gregg of Lectio 365 I shared uh, uh, earlier last week um, that um, today or this weekend um, over a um, of a quarter of the world's population will be hearing the gospel presented. Yes. Uh, being in church, hearing the birth narrative of Jesus, all of that. I mean, a, I mean that's over two billion people, and uh, so that's incredible. It's an incredible opportunity to proclaim the gospel, and um, I know it's my prayer that uh, the gospel will be heard and responded to. Amen. So. Amen. All right, Jim, try it again. I don't know what I said. Merry Christmas, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That's not as solid as it was Merry going Christmas. to be. Bah humbug. Merry <laughs> Christmas, you filthy animal. Filthy animal. <laughs> the Potakesis boys, out. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs>